Hey folks, welcome back to Dab Acre. This is Chris coming to you once again. This video is breaking news about an event that just apparently occurred in the last couple of hours in Soweto, outside Johannesburg in South Africa. Once again, I caution folks, this is breaking news and my source on this for the moment is ENCA. Hardly a reliable source of information. However, I suspect that they probably got most of this information correct. It's been reported uh, on ENCA's website uh, just in the past couple of hours that uh, Temba Nkumbi, a 21-year-old Soweto man, has been murdered while trying to uh, protect and rescue uh, the life of a friend of his young lady. The 21-year-old and the young lady were standing outside her home when a, a, a gang of four men approached them and started harassing her and uh, hassling them and uh, fearing for her, her safety that she may be raped or violated in some way. Uh, and Kumi managed to open the gate for her to crawl into so that she could escape from the thugs. His reward? He was shot dead by these thugs. Yeah, shot dead. And he died at the scene. She said in response to this, I'm not the same girl anymore. I feel indebted to him. If he didn't open the gate for me, I would have been the one who is dead now. She said that we would have been talking a different story. I would be the one trending that they have found a girl raped and dead in the bushes. If I didn't scream, I don't know what would have happened. Yeah, as is happening so many countless times in South Africa, in the gangster's paradise of South Africa, where the feckless police minister, Beckett Ely, uh, could care less about the safety and welfare of South Africans at all. He obviously can hide this by cloaking his disdain for South Africans, focusing only on ignoring the plight of commercial farmers, white commercial farmers, when in fact his concern is not the safety of South Africans at all. In the gangster's paradise of South Africa, 60 people are murdered each and every day, folks, many in horrific fashion, whether it's a UCT student who is lured back to a post office by a rapist and murderer who rapes and murders her, under the guise of her retrieving her parcel later in the day, or it's an eight-month pregnant young woman outside of Pretoria who's stabbed multiple times and hung from a tree and left dead in a double homicide. Or it's a commercial farmer or a farm worker like the farm manager in the Northern Free State, Brendan Horner, 21-year-old South African, whose life was stolen from him by domestic terrorists. The vile conduct the lack of respect for human dignity and human life that is pervasive in South African society is vile and disgusting. It's not a new phenomenon, folks. It was churned up in the late 1980s with the People's War in Natal, when the ANC resorted to necklacing by taking tires and fully moved petrol and putting around a suspected collaborator's neck and burning them to death. It's really, really got going. Of course, South Africa has a long, violent history, but I'm talking about more recent history here. But this sort of behavior and this reckless disregard for life, especially for women, is intolerable. It's intolerable for anyone, but it's beyond conception here, folks. The trolls come on this channel and make all kinds of ludicrous accusations all the time because they're just trolls and that's what they do. But as always, this channel brings you unbiased, fact-based reporting on events in South Africa. So as I said, this is a breaking news story. It was from ENCA, so we'll see if there's more information. While uh, he's seen as a hero by many, including his family, they are reeling from his devastating loss. Three suspects reportedly have been arrested and will appear in the Protea Magistrates Court. And one more is still on the run, little coward. His family is hoping that uh, his death is not in vain will encourage other men to take a stand against gender-based violence. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, most gender-based violence that we hear of, men are the problem. And the way that they're being raised or not raised by parents is a big part of this problem. This culture that, that makes it acceptable to violate and abuse women or children uh, or to attack defenseless elderly people is just bizarre and unacceptable. Once again, folks, uh, breaking news out of e from ENCA out of Soweto in Johannesburg, 21-year-old Temba Nkumbi was brutally murdered, shot to death as he helped his friend escape what was likely for sure to be gang rape and most likely a brutal and violent death at the hands of the rapist. South Africa tolerates this. Its useless police minister, Beketzile, does nothing about it. And it's time for a change. It's time for good governance to come to South Africa. It's time for the ANC to stand up to its promise of good governance that it made to voters in 1994 or to step aside. Folks, if you found this video, well, distressing, I would imagine most people found it. It's unfortunate to hear about this young man who tried to do the right thing and paid with his life. I don't imagine he ever would have thought for a moment that his life was in jeopardy 
But whether he did or didn't, he did the right thing to help this young lady. And it's really tragic to see this sort of thing play out on a daily basis across South Africa, 57 to 60 times each and every single day. How low do people hold life in regard? One has to ask that question. All right, well, if you're not a subscriber to Chris White Africa, I ask you to take a moment, subscribe by pushing that subscription button right down there. And um, if you have a comment about this horrific event, uh, feel free to leave the comment. And finally, I ask you to smash the like button because likes drive viewership. And really, that's uh, how we get the message out and how we share events taking place around the world and in Africa and in South Africa in particular is by people pushing the like button and subscribing to the channel. So thank you for your support and uh, for your patience and for your time. God bless and have a good day.